English grade 2, quarter 4, week 4, using personal pronouns in dialogues. Our lesson's objectives, identify personal pronouns, write correct personal pronouns to replace nouns, and use personal pronouns in sentences. Let's see what you know. Encircle the letter of the correct pronoun to use in each sentence as substitute for the underlined nouns. Read and answer. Do you have the same answers? Very good! Let's review. Two-syllable words with CVC patterns. Fill in the blanks with the missing letters to complete the names of the following. Begin now. Are your answers the same? Good job! During this pandemic time, do you help your parents in doing household chores? Will you cite some? Very good! I am going to read a story. What are the standards in listening? Correct. Let's start. The title of the story is Let's Work Together by Mrs. Bernadette V. Carpio. I am Ara. As early in the morning, my family are all awake and ready for our daily responsibilities. My father goes towards the chicken coop. He gets some fresh eggs. Mother fries the eggs for our breakfast. She makes sure that we have our energy during the start of the day. Dora and I clean the house. We make sure that even the floor is shiny. Our brothers, Tony and Lito, are at the backyard feeding the chickens and the ducks. They also water the vegetables our father planted. Our dog, Bantai, is busy too. It guards the goats at our field. Our family is happy as we work together. Let us answer. What is the title of the story? Where does the story happen? Where does father get the fresh eggs? What does mother cook for breakfast? Correct. Why do Tony and Lito are in the backyard?
Very good. What do Dora and Ara clean? How does Bantai help the family? What will happen if you and your family work together? That's great! Now, let us look at the following sentences. Then read them aloud. Now, let us analyze who gets the fresh eggs from the chicken coop. It's father. On the next sentence, what substitute the word father? The pronoun he. On sentence number two, who cooks fried eggs for breakfast? What word substitutes the word mother? Yes, the word she. On the third sentence, who feed the chicken and the ducks? Correct, Tony and Lito. What word substitutes the word Tony and Lito? Yes, they. Next sentence, who cleaned the house? Yes, it's Dora and I. Instead of Dora and I, what word is used? Write the word we. On the fifth sentence, who guards the goats and the field? It's bantai. What word is used instead of bantai? Yes, the word it. On the next sentence, who is asked to keep the floor shiny? In place of Dora, what word is used? Correct, we use the word you. On the last sentence, Ara is introducing herself. What word is used in place of Ara? Correct, the word I is used. Pronouns are words used to substitute nouns. These are very useful to avoid repeating nouns and they can make sentences easier to read. Personal pronouns are pronouns used to replace a noun which can be a person, animal, or an object. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they are examples of personal pronouns. Let us discuss them one by one. I is a singular personal pronoun used in talking about self. Example, my name is Anna. I like to play with my sister. The word Anna is a noun. In place of Anna, we use the word I. The next pronoun is you. You can be a singular personal pronoun used in talking directly to a person. Example, Elsa, would you like me to fix your hair? You are now pretty. Anna is talking directly to Elsa. In place of Elsa, we use the word you. The pronoun you can also be used as a plural pronoun when talking directly to a group of people. Example, children, let us find some butterflies. 
you can come with me in the garden. The teacher is talking directly to the children. In place of the noun children, we use the pronoun you. The pronoun he. He is a singular personal pronoun used when talking about another male person. Example, Jose P. Rizal is our national hero. He was a teacher, a farmer, a writer, and a doctor. Jose P. Rizal is a male. The pronoun he is used. Next is the pronoun she. She is a singular personal pronoun used when talking about another female person. Example, Sarah Eronimo is my favorite singer. She can sing and dance well. Sarah Eronimo is a female. We use the pronoun she. It. It is a singular personal pronoun used when talking about an object, an animal, or an event. Examples Sampagita is our national flower. It is small, white, and fragrant. Carabao is our national animal because it helps farmer flows the field. Sampagita is an object. Carabao is an animal. We use it instead. We is a plural personal pronoun used when talking about self and others. Example, Elsa and I are ready for bed. We will sing first before we sleep. Anna is talking about Elsa and herself. The pronoun we is used. The pronoun they. They is a plural personal pronoun used when talking about other people or things. Elsa and Anna are sisters. They love each other so much. The sentence is about Elsa and Anna. We use the pronoun they. Now let us do some practice exercise and circle the personal pronoun used in each sentence. Read then answer. Here are the correct answers. Did you get the same? High five! Wow! Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Start now! Remember, pronouns are words used to substitute nouns. These are very useful to avoid repeating nouns and they can make sentences easier to read. Personal pronouns are pronouns used to replace a noun which can be a person, animal, or an object. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they are examples of personal pronouns. For your assessment, look at the pictures. Write the correct pronoun for each sentence based on the illustration. Start now.
Are the answers the same with yours? Good job, kids! For your additional activities, write a short paragraph about your family. Circle the personal pronouns used. It's Teacher Adet. Stay safe, everyone! Yay!